So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very cheap and simple and effective quadrat for ecological studies. Uh, you can do along transit lines. You can buy quadrats, and this is a five by five quadrat. It's about half a meter, 50 centimeters, uh, 10 centimeters each square. This is a 10 by 10 quadrat, handy for doing a ground cover study, percent ground cover. You can lay it on the ground, see how many of the squares are covered and how many are not. And then you can quickly get a good idea for percent ground cover. This is a half a meter quadrat, and it's just a plain old um, quarter, about half a meter, no, no grids. Now what I'm going to show you is to make a meter quadrat, a one meter square quadrat, using nothing other than some string and a marker and a meter stick. So here we go. Okay, first take the end of your string and tie it around a pencil. Something that you can shove on the ground, you don't mind uh, dirtying this thing up. All right, then stretch that string out to be exactly one meter long. And when you get to the one meter long range, put a big mark on that spot with a permanent marker. Okay, so there's my one meter mark and here's my permanent marker going on it. See the pretty permanent mark here. All right, I'm gonna stretch this out again until my mark obviously is at the start of my meter again. And stretch out a new meter of string and put a mark at the next meter. I'll repeat this four times to where I have a piece of string now marked every meter over four meters. Okay, I've marked my fourth meter. There's my string with the, the beginning and then every meter it's marked and I got to my fourth meter. Now I'm gonna run out a, a little extra string, uh, maybe 30, 40 centimeters at the end and just chop that off. All right, I'll go show you how this is set up outside. Okay, now wherever I want to lay down my quadrat, um, we can look at another video on where you decide to lay your quadrats using random sampling and all those other sampling methods. Um, you're gonna put the, put the corner of your quadrat in the ground. So there you go, that's my first corner. Now I'm gonna run it out one meter. How do I know it's a meter? Because I've happily measured that one meter mark right there. Probably should have done a different color besides green, but that's okay. At that meter point, I will put simply another pencil that I don't mind ruining. And then I'll run it out another meter per, uh, in a 90 degree angle. How do I know a 90 degree angle? I can just take a book or a phone or anything that has a square angle to it and run it out on that angle out for another meter. This is self promo. This is my photography book. If anyone's interested, check out Amazon. There it is. All right, here we go. Now I've run out to another meter mark. There's my next point so I will put my next uh, handy dandy pencil in the ground at this point get my book back run a 90 degree angle with that line and this one and run the quadrat down another meter 90 degrees until I get to my last well, third point and I can then set this in the ground at that point here and run this quadrat right down to my last point and loop that extra bit of string around to tighten it up a bit and step back. Voila, you have a one meter by one meter quadrat. So if you're doing a quadrat study, you can put that in your pocket. You can wrap up all the string four pencils in your pocket. And you don't have to walk around with a giant, huge uh, plastic contraption. And this is a pretty good quadrat to use in an easy, super effective, mobile way. Okay, here is the quadrat being finished and wrapped up, and this is what it looks like at the end. It's just four pencils and some string. Now I need a, my measuring tape, which I'm going to take into the, the forest with me in a minute to show you how to set all this up, but um, if you need to keep a low profile with a quadrat, you don't want a giant, big, huge, square one meter quadrat, or just, just to make it easier to carry things around, that's, that's it. So I hope that helps.